If your spinal tap guitar player blows up on this round of touring, I'm in. I mean, I'm I'm just down. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, got a request for this song, and I forgot how much I love this band. I mean, not that I forgot, but it just brings it right back up to the top. When you mix Hendrix and funk, I'm in. So look for about 400 more of these songs from this particular artist in the future. Which brings me to, if you got a song request, click the link. That's how this one got to me. So, uh, without further ado, let's get on with this. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> whoa! Excuse me. So we're going to need a wah on this one. Um, and if you don't have a wah, you can still play the same part. No big deal. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the 12th fret, and we're just going to do what looks like little power chords. So we're going to be 12 and 14. Well, actually, first you come up to the uh, behind the nut and you hit that little G string right there. Just for fun. And then uh, we go up to the 12th fret and then we're going to go up to the 15th fret. Now, I'm just going to call out what fret this finger is on right here. But keep in mind, this one's down a string and up two frets, so just like a normal power chord. So we're going to go 12 to 15. The next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna slide up. So we got. So we're gonna go 12 to 14 on the D and G. So we got. And then we're gonna slide from 10 to 12 on the D and G. And then we're gonna go up to 10 to 12 on the A and D. So again, we got. going to go 12 to 14 and then what we do is slide from 10 to 12 now 9 to 10 on the D and G and then go up a set of strings A and D slide 9 to 10 again so we got that about 40 times and then it comes in now the real hard part of this song is the verse and it does this it's gonna be tricky you're gonna you're gonna have a hard time with this but you just go like this you get that a string and you just go back and forth like this and that's why this song is so awesome the parts aren't hard and it's killer so just get that wall rock it back and forth I think around 1347. You can get it done twice as fast if you do that. So then after that part, then my favorite part comes in, which is just awesome. We're going to go. So what you want to do is we're going to be out of E minor pentatonic. And by the way, the song is just killer to jam to if you're just, you know, in, in the mood. So we're going to go. So we're going to pedal back and forth between this E on the seventh fret of the A. We're going to go open E. All right, we got. So again. And now we're going to go down to 
down to the D note. So we got. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the G string, 7th fret. And we're going to go G7, D9, D7, D5. And then back to our. And then what we do is we go up to the low E string and go 3, 5, and then down to the A string, 4, 5. So we got. Right? After that, there's a little part where some chords come in. We're going to go up to the 10th fret, or I'm sorry, the 8th fret and 10th fret. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you're going to take the D and G and slide it up to 13. And do some tremolo picking. And then we're going to go down to the 10 and 12. And go back. So we got. Let's see if we got time for this uh, little solo part. Alright, so the solo is super basic but super cool, so we're going to go... What you're going to do is it's all on the 12 and 14 of the D and G. So we're going to go 14, 12, 14 on the D. Again. differences. Now we're going to go 12, 14, 12 on the G, 14 on the D, 12 D, and then 14 D. And you want to do the wah down to the toe. And then back and down. Now, when you're doing this song too, all this song is in E minor pentatonic, you know, so if you're sitting there and you're just you're going, you know, it's just an awesome if you got a great rhythm section. I mean, it's just so fun to solo. <laughs> So 
And don't be afraid to just cut loose and have fun. You know, you watch these guys live and they're complete maniacs. Just like, I like it. And they're just having a blast. So, you know, let the energy flow and don't be afraid to go out there on a limb and, you know, jump off the stage and just have euphoric dreams of complete chaos on guitar and, you know, funkdophilian music. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm going to do a lot more from this band. I really, really, this, this lesson was awesome. I, I had fun doing this one. So all you fans out there, look for plenty more to come. Click the links below. Help me out. If you like the video down there, <laughs> tell your friends. You know, if every one of you just popped this dog on Facebook or just threw it to like four of your buddies, we'd have a total funk army out there. So help me out. Let's do this. See ya.